You ever wonder how we do gradient backgrounds in CSS like this? Well, I'm about to show you in one minute. Where am I? Oddly enough, the gradient background gets applied to the background image property in CSS, even though it's not really an image. Weird. It's a function, so you write linear gradient, and in parentheses, you give it these parameters in this order. First, there's direction. By default, it's to bottom, which means it starts from the top and it goes to the bottom. You can change that. You can say to right, to left, to bottom right, to bottom left. This also accepts degrees as an angle, so 45 degrees, 180 degrees, whatever you want. Then there's obviously the list of your colors. You can give it as many as you want, separated by comma. It will distribute them evenly unless you specify with percentage. You also have radio and conic gradients, which I will cover in other one minute videos. And you have repeating versions of all of them if you want your gradients to repeat itself. That is very, very cool. Now, can you build this? 